Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, we're going to be looking at another icon, and this is the second variant icon, 87-rated Hernan Crespo. The Argentine legend of a player has got some pretty awesome stats on this 87-rated version, 86 pace and dribbling, as well as 88 shooting. He's a six-foot-tall striker, as you know, medium-low work rates, right-footed with the awesome four-star skills and weak-foot combo, which, of course, is a little bit lower than what he had on FIFA 17. He used to be a five-star weak foot player. Um, will that affect him? I guess we'll find out during this video. So moving on into a couple of different squads that you could play him in. The first one here is a full-on Serie A team. Obviously, he spent a lot of his career in the Italian league, uh, but this is the mega squad that I was able to put him in today. Alongside major players such as Rude Hullet and Ronaldinho and his strike partner in this team, it is the 88-rated Dutch icon Patrick Kluivert. So moving on into the in-game stats for the Argentine. What can we expect? Well, really good stats in the pace, dribbling, and shooting departments are an obvious. And uh, they look pretty awesome on basic, I'm not going to lie. 90 shooting, uh, 92 shooting with 97 finishing on basic. That is a, a particularly viable option for you guys today. However, I might recommend the Marksman Chemistry style because, well, the 86 pace I, f I would find to be all right. Let's try and boost that dribbling a bit so that he feels slightly more agile and has a bit better balance. Uh, and then the shooting stats to get him up to that 97 finish. And again, uh, high long shot stats and things like that. And added strength as well can be key for a player like this. Um, but, well, that's what I was hoping anyway. We can move on into the clips now. You can see the, the shots that I missed and the goals that I was able to score with the icon. And we'll talk negatives first, shall we? I did find that Crespo's stamina was a little bit lacking. It's still in the 70s, which... Means that, I don't know, for maybe the last sort of quarter of the game, you don't really get the most out of him. Uh, he's just a little less sort of mobile on the game. A little bit of that pace goes a little, I, I don't know. Uh, it's just towards the end of the game, you don't get 100% best best case scenario version of uh, Hernan Crespo just because of that lower stamina stat. I also found, found his 1-2 passing to be a little bit meh, if I'm honest. Uh, for some reason, they weren't super accurate. Sometimes he would play an A pass as if it was like a through ball, and that's not what I wanted. I want to do the, the, the little 1-2s and, uh, and maybe then even receive the ball back, so he needs to be a little bit more accurate with them. I wasn't particularly impressed with them at all. Uh, and then, like I said, I tried to boost the strength, and he's He's not a particularly weak player, but the amount of times I got barged off the ball with this guy, uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, I was expecting him to be able to, to deal with physical confrontation on this game, and I've got to say, he was sort of lacking in that department for me. That's, that's a bit odd, because normally I get on fine with that, uh, with, with Crespo. But moving on into the positives, there's a much longer list of them. I think this is one of the more popular icons on the game. And actually for an 87, he holds quite a high price uh, compared to some of the 87s on the game. So that also goes to show you his popularity uh, on FUT 18. His acceleration is really good. It's only a tiny bit better than his overall sprint speed. So I guess you could say his pace in general is good. Uh, but I just noticed, it was noticeable to me that he was able to get up to speed pretty quick uh, and then stay at a decent pace all the way through, even with no boosts from the chemistry styles. Uh, what you get with Crespo, though, is a really, really well-positioned striker. Uh, obviously, we boosted it somewhat with the with the marksman, a little bit like we did with Patrick Cliver. You know, I used two strikers there on the marksman chemistry style, just because I think boost in those particular areas is quite important sometimes, uh, especially on these guys who uh, could turn into monsters as soon as you give them that better dribbling and shooting and physical stat. Those are three important ones, in my opinion, on FUT18. Uh, so yeah, his, his positioning went up a lot, and he just is right place, right time, last shoulder of defender, ready to to get going with that good acceleration and stuff. And uh, once he gets one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, there's not a lot of times where he really misses. So that's a great positive to give about Hernan Crespo on the game. His dribbling and skill moves are also really, really impressive. You don't necessarily expect a six-foot, well, a six-foot striker to actually have uh, the ability to do that sort of thing. And Crespo's really 
pretty good on the ball, you know. Uh, uh, whether or not he's he's just trying to make a tiny bit of space to then unleash a shot like he did right there. That was a really nice long shot, by the way. Uh, he's just he's just really competent on the ball, uh, and of course has those four star skills at his disposal too, which can be very useful to earn yourself a tiny bit of space. Uh, I felt like the four star weak foot from inside the box was awesome. Outside the box, I would try and stick to the right foot but you can get away with the odd finesse shot or something from time to time uh, but he will be much more dangerous on his uh, well perfect strong foot of course uh, and then just overall his shooting seemed to be I would say his shooting is better than Clivert's However, I prefer Cliver to this Crespo. Uh, he seemed to be a little bit more dangerous for me than the Argentine. So if you're trying to sort of weigh up how I rate these players, uh, I would say that the 88 Cliver for me was a tiny bit of a better performer than Crespo was. But I still rate this guy really highly. He's one of the more usable icons on the game. I know he's a very popular one. Uh, and I think if you're, if you're questioning it, then I just say go with it because... Uh, he will net you goals and he will fit into whatever team you want and he's kind of a, a jack of all trades. He's got the pace, he's got the dribbling, he's got the shooting and the physical. He can kind of do it all. So uh, give him a shot. Let me know what you think of him down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.